10 Most Incredible Archaeological Discoveries Found on Islands Hello everyone, welcome to Major 10. Islands are the perfect vacuum to enable the birth of various endemic cultures, plants and animals. There are around 18,307 islands in the world according to a 2003 survey by the National Institute of Aeronautics and Space. Pretty crazy, right? So just imagine the possibilities of evolution these individual islands have made possible over millions and billions of years. Today we will be going over 10 of the most incredible archaeological discoveries found on islands and just shows how incredible these tiny pieces of land are in cradling unique life and civilizations throughout the history of our planet. Let's get to it. Before you watch the video, please like, subscribe and share this video as much as you can. Also, don't forget to hit the bell button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Number 10. Dilmun Civilization The Dilmun Civilization from 3rd century BC in the Eastern Arabian Peninsula was an important yet lesser known society from the four cradles of the Old World. Unlike Mesopotamia, Ancient Egypt, Indus Valley and Yellow River Civilization, Dilmun people settled on an island now known as Bahrain Island in the Persian Gulf. This location gave them the strategic advantage and established themselves as a trading port between the Middle East and South Asia. The island is a highly fertile spot due to its natural springs. Despite being located in an otherwise desolate region, archaeologists say that Dilmun was quite modern for its time and included restaurants and shops but very little is known about their daily lives. Several population centers and 170,000 burial mounds are still being excavated on the island. Dilmun also played an important role in Mesopotamian myth, including Sumerian creation myth where it was called the place where the sun rises in the land of the living. The Dilmun civilization declined noticeably in 1720 BC and again after 1000 BC once the Persian Gulf became rife and a piracy. The island was eventually completely abandoned in 583 BC. Number 9. Extinct Animal Drawings An international team of scientists from the US, Madagascar and UK recently published a unique ancient artwork from the Andrian Mamelo Cave in western Madagascar. It showed the only known prehistoric depiction of the now extinct giant sloth lemur. Artists made the painting using dark pigments from charcoal and iron materials and the drawings were naturalistic scenes filled with anthropomorphic, zoomorphic and human-animal hybrid creatures. Researchers noticed that M-shaped motif not seen in the Indian Ocean region except for one tiny usage in Borneo around 2000 years ago. Elements of other cultures were also present in this cave, including Aramaic alphabet of Ethiopia and Ptolemaic Egyptian mythological characters. But oddly, any signs of the Latin alphabet, Judeo-Christian, Muslim or Hindu symbolisms were conspicuously absent according to the researchers. The painting with Lemur depicts a hunter with two dogs appearing to be pointing his weapon at the animal, who is seen to be hanging upside from the tree branch. These paintings are likely created during the onset of the Christian era, but researchers are still not quite sure about who made them. The locals say that they were made by a completely different ethnic group than themselves. Number 8. Arctic Cave Bear Another interesting find in Siberia, in the island of Volsloy Lakovsky, a perfectly preserved prehistoric cave bear was discovered. Ursus Espeleus was preserved in permafrost from tens and thousands of years before being discovered by reindeer herders. This species of bear lived throughout Eurasia in mid and late Pleistocene and went extinct 15,000 years ago, according to the Siberian Times. Preliminary studies placed the animal between 39,500 to 22,000 years old. It is so well preserved that even its nose is intact. Scientist Lena Grigoriva says the find is of great importance for the whole world. This discovery marks the latest in the series of prehistoric Siberian creatures in the melting permafrost and luckily, this one was found soon enough before it could have been decomposed after being exposed to the open air. Who knows which untold prehistoric creatures is still lying in wait beneath the icy surfaces of Siberia. Number 7. 
medieval workshop. On the island of Jersey, in the Channel Islands, archaeologists discovered what seems to be the remains of the medieval beachfront workshop during a routine excavation prior to the construction of flats along the Sea of Grooville. The remains of this ancient workshop was discovered beneath three feet of sand. They found well-built walls containing the remains of an oven which appears to have been used for preparing shellfish. They also found pottery pieces dating back to the 12th and 14th century, a rare discovery for the island which shows potential clues of the area's industrial practices from the past according to the project officer, Daryl Freer of Wessex Archaeology. Tracy Ingle, the Jersey's government's principal planner for the historic environment, explained that earlier excavations in the area generated interest in digging this site. These and future discoveries will help uncover the more about Jersey's long-hidden ancient history, particularly about what went on here. Hopefully, we will have some answers soon. Number 6. Trollborg Labyrinth Next, we visit a truly spooky territory on the island of Biagingfrun in Sweden. Having been infamous for its long history in dark curses and witchcraft, this island requires daring visitors to stick to the designated path and no one is allowed to visit after dark. Smaller than one mile, this island features a unique stone walking labyrinth called Trollborg, which is the smallest of its kind in Sweden. Little is known about who made it and when, but the most widely accepted theory is that the fishermen on the island made it in the hopes of catching more fish. They say anyone who removes any stone from the labyrinth will be cursed forever. Archaeologists are still looking for more answers about this mysterious island, and as of now, Biagingfrun remains shrouded in local myths and legends. Number 5. Lost Stone Age Conquers in August of this year, archaeologists working in the Channel Islands found some of the earliest prehistoric art in the northern Europe. Dating back to the Stone Age depicting animals and abstract patterns, the artwork shows a long-lost culture that once existed here and may be the remains of the society that may have sunk to the bottom of the English Channel. Three of the drawings found in the Las Marinas archaeological site at the islands of Jersey showed what appears to be three unclear mammals and a horse. Paintings were done on a small stone plagues measuring between 2 and 6 inches in diameter. They also appear to be deliberately broken, suggesting that they were used in some ritual. Excavations have shown evidence of substantial Stone Age settlement, which produces spears and some hunting equipment in this area. Based on studies, researchers found out that this region was occupied by a culture called the Magdalenian, and they left numerous signs of their occupancy in other parts of Western Europe as well. This discovery challenges long-held notions that Britain contained no human inhabitants between 29,000 to 12,800 BC and suggests that people may have made their way into the UK hundreds of years before that date. Prehistory is full of surprises. Number 4. Rapa Nui People Next stop, we visit the famed Easter Islands in the Southwest Pacific, which is home to 1,000 massive stonehead sculptures called Moai. Researchers working on the island announce that they finally know what led to the collapse of the Rapa Nui civilization, which lived here a long time ago. No one truly knows when the Rapa Nui arrived at the island, but the inhabitants were struggling by the time Europeans discovered them in the late 18th century as evidenced by the diminishing resources and transition to a simpler lifestyle. Researchers long speculated about what led to the survival of just 111 Rapa Nui Islanders by the end of 19th century inside a slave trade. European diseases and resource depletion as the most probable reasons. A recent study published in the Proceedings of Royal Society alleges that climate change is probably the cause for the civilization's inevitable downfall. Archaeological evidence shows that Rapa Nui's first major period of decline was seen during the Little Ice Age between 1450 and 1550. This climate change impacted the island's food production capacity, which spelled disaster for the small population which was no more than 3,000 at its peak. The island is also sensitive to the La Nina weather phenomenon, resulted in decreased rainfall. 
For 400-year time period, these conditions plus the diseases brought on by the European colonizers impacted how the islanders lived and their eventual demise. Number 3. Viking Vote Graves Scientists discover that at least Viking Vote Graves on a small 2.9-mile Norwegian island named Adoy since late 2019. Archaeologists from the Norwegian Institute of Cultural Heritage, Research or NICO discovered traces of 1,000-year-old buried Viking ship located underneath the topsoil of a mound which was 60 feet in diameter. The second Viking boat grave was discovered earlier this year using radio imaging technology. Though smaller than the first boat, it was formidable in its own right. Researchers discovered several more graves along with the remains of houses, including one containing what appears to be a fireplace. Some of the discoveries, like the houses, may have come from a different time period, perhaps even dating back somewhere between 300 and 580 during the Iron Age. A few of the tombs predate even the Viking area and might be as early as 600 to 980 during the late Iron Age. How fascinating is that? Number 2. Lucayan Bones Our next find takes us to Bahamas in the Caribbean. Researchers at Texas A&M University and Galveston recently discovered that the Lucayan people who inhabited the Bahamas prior to the arrival of European colonizers in the 16th century came to the archipelago later than previously thought. Using a combination of advanced dating methods, the team analyzed a tibia bone segment preserved in a sediment core taken from the Great Abaco Island. It was the second known Lucayan bone ever to be discovered on this island, and it was determined to be between 100 to 200 years younger than originally estimated. The person the shin bone belonged to inhabited the Great Abaco Island sometime between 1290 to 1295. The enslavement and diseases eradicated the Lucayan from the island by the 1520s following the arrival of Christopher Columbus. Their disappearance makes it difficult for experts to gauge their accurate arrival, but the study continues until we know more. Number 1. Porbazine Complex Located at an altitude of 4,000 feet on a tiny island in the Lake Terrical in the rural is one of Russia's most mysterious architectural monuments. It's been estimated that the Purbazin complex was built over 1,300 years ago in the span of two years. Experts believe that this 700 to 530 feet complex might have been a monastery, a summer, pl a summer place or an astronomical observatory through the exact purpose is still unknown. The main gate within the outer wall measures about 10 feet tall, and the layout and the construction material left behind points toward a Chinese architectural tradition. Archaeologist Margaret Kutems identified the Miyake event, a spike in carbon-14 levels from possibly massive bursts of cosmic radiation, in a tree ring dating to 777 AD. Based on this discovery, researchers concluded that the Uyghurs rulers Tengri Bugu Kagan ordered the construction of this complex around the same time. The complex is most likely a summer palace since there are no heating systems in the place. And also it is located in Siberia, so it means highly unlikely that people would live here during the winter. It is not clear what was the true purpose of this place. With that, we've covered the 10 most incredible archaeological discoveries found on islands around the world. Has it changed your perception of our past or maybe has it changed the way you look at life now? If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to hit the like button, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos.